Got this tiller here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It says Briggs and Stratton on the motor. It also says David Bradley on it. And up here on the tiller front, it says Lawn Boy. So, not sure. I'll just say it's a Briggs and Stratton engine. And what I got, I got the wheel off here and the big cover with the pole start off there. And the problem I'm having is I ain't got spark. Not enough that'll jump a spark plug. If I take the wire here and I hold my hand on it and then touch a ground and pull it over, there's a little bit of a spark there, but not enough to work and jump the gap in a spark plug. So I gotta get, here's where your uh, coil is. And then there's magnets in the flywheel. I don't know if that just needs to be cleaned up or if the points behind here are bad. But anyways, I also have to fix the overrunning clutch. It's going to need to be cleaned out and lubricated. So, we got some little uh, screws to take out there. Take that screen off there. Now you have your overrunning clutch. And these are, they're threaded on here. It's your regular standard threads. You have to unthread them. What you need is a thing for the impact that'll go around these lugs on here and it'll jerk it off of there. But while I'm here and I gotta fix this, there's a snap ring piece in here. I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna fix the overrunning clutch while I'm at it here. And this will pop apart. I do have a video on of how you clean these. I'll put a link down below. Well, I don't actually have one of them tools to remove this, so I'm gonna have to make one. Well, well now she what she does. Welded her all off with 7018s, some hardened bolts. There you go. Pops it right off. Now we have to pop our flywheel off. Oh, it's already loose. Don't lose your keyway in there. And now we have to take off these two little bolts and you'll get to where your points are. This is basically the exact same on a Tecumseh engine except on a Tecumseh you don't have a uh, overrunning clutch like this, it's different. There you go, take off your cover. And now, we'll get you in here so you can see the points. This is your condenser, your points are right here. When this flywheel turns over, if I can get it to turn here, I'll show you. There's a bump in the flywheel. It's just like a little cam on your camshaft. All it does is it opens up them points there. It doesn't open them very much. So I'm going to sand them down. And then I'm going to go up here to my coil. I see that it's pretty dirty. There's all kinds of dirt kicked on it. That, that's probably a, probably the cause of our very low spark. So I'll clean that up and then also on the flywheel here we'll take the place with the magnets and we'll clean that up with some emery cloth. Get that all cleaned up, throw her back together and our spark issue should be solved. I cleaned it all up now. I don't have it all the way back together. But look at the nice strong healthy spark we got now. Before there was absolutely nothing with the spark plug, you can just get it by using your hand a bit.